Okay, so as I said, my name's Owen Ruskovich. I'm the founder of the Rusk Group. We have a few different uh, brands that you would have seen around. Uh, we've got free valuation courses if anyone's that way inclined online. You can go and Google that and you can uh, take one of those today. Uh, we've got a couple of podcasts, we've got a media site and all the rest of it. Okay, I'm just going to give you a quick presentation, um, just take you through some of the things that I look for um, with our Rask Invest service, so our members only service. And I'm not reinventing the wheel here tonight and you can see the basic tenets of our investment philosophy and process here. And I'll just, I'll just jump through them quickly uh, before I'll hand it over to Doug. Uh, so basically anything should be within your circle of competence, we all know that. Must, for us, it must have a reas reasonable valuation. So we're moving further up the quality spectrum when we're investing. We're not after cigar butts or anything very cheap. Uh, competitive advantage, industry growth and scale uh, is very, can be very forgiving, and management with integrity and talent. So company that I'm profiling is zero. Um, I know, no points for originality. But to dive into the first, I guess, filter for us. So this is straight from Charlie Mung Munger's playbook, and you could tell that I'm a big fan. I've quoted him twice already. It is easier to avoid doing something stupid than it is to seek brilliance. And I think that's a really important uh, philosophy or principle to embrace as an investor. You don't need to own everything in the market. So if you are an active investor, um, you can afford to just focus on what you know best. And for us, the circle of confidence, well, my circle of confidence with a background in tech is technology, subscription and finance and kind of the intersection of those. Um, and fortunately for me, at least recently, that's done quite well. So Warren Buffett's quote on finding management is probably the best I've ever heard. And he, he gave this, this quote comes from when he would have uh, young students from schools come and visit his office. And uh, he would ask them, in effect, what are the three, I guess, characteristics of people around you that define how good they'd be as investors or as managers? And then um, he's, come, he's come up with talent, integrity, and energy. And obviously you don't want someone that's full of it energy and talent but has no integrity because we know what, how that ends. But basically for us it's uh, management, integrity and talent, alignment is essential and a good track record. So at Zero, I think we have that with Rod Drury who's now stepped back from the CEO role but we have Steve Vamos who's um, an adept uh, technology leader with both Apple in the 90s and then again with Microsoft. So we, this is a, uh, a quote from our investors podcast with Joe Mega. For those of you who have watched it you might be familiar. Uh, he says, we love competitive advantage focused businesses moving faster than pre people appreciate. And I think it's that last part there, moving faster than people appreciate. When you invest actively, you kind of have to, you have to have a variant perception because if you do the average thing, you'll get average results. And one of the areas, and this is more of a qualitative thing than a quantitative thing, you can't really define it in a database, is uh, understanding the competitive landscape and understanding the competitive advantage of a business and where that is going. Um, so. I've got a little line down the bottom here that says these things don't move in straight lines. And this is not drawn to scale, but Zero added one million customers in the first 10 years. It added another million in the next 2.5. And so that gives you an idea of the exponential growth that can come from this type of business um, as it's forging its competitive advantage and moving at scale and moving in an industry with the wind blowing its back. So we've had a lot of regulatory change which has aided it. Uh, we've had a migration to the cloud, etc. So here are just some I guess some industries or some themes you might be focused on. And as we know, uh, even the best company will hurt your portfolio if you pay too much for it. And this comes from Pat Dorsey. Um, and just on, in this white shaded area here, this comes from a book called The Gorilla Game, which is a book written in the late 90s about finding tech stocks uh, early and then investing in them and trying to find the businesses that create the underlying architecture or infrastructure that goes in um, to an industry because those businesses uh, tend to be the ones that capture the most value. And so for me, a business like Xero uh, has created a very strong backbone. It's got hundreds of apps that just talk to it. And that, in effect, just widens its competitive advantage or its moat, so to speak. And so where we tend to find, um, and by the way, the blue, the little uh, shaded area is what a normal company would look like in an industry. So where we tend to find companies with reliable moats or wide moats. Um, what we're trying to look for are things like embedding when, you're, um, when your product or service embeds in the customer's or business's life that you work with. Um, we have wide gross margins because if you don't have wide gross margins, you'll never capture as much value as can be captured. Uh, operating leverage, so we're seeing that now with Pushpay, but also with zero. Negligible debt and, uh, as I said, standards slash architecture. Final slide from me for tonight, and this is a 
uh, comes with a quote as well from Pat Dorsey. It says, think of Cisco at 100 times, times earnings in, the two th in early 2000. It was, great, it was a great company, but it was a terrible stock. And for us, we don't get caught up in what share prices are doing. We know a company like Zero or any of the companies really that we own are not necessarily going to be the least volatile. You know, we, we understand that, but what we focus on is the operating performance of the business at, you know, we don't even focus on anything else. I don't even check my brokerage every day unless there's some material news. And um, you can see here, this is not, again, drawn to scale, but how our valuation of zero has edged up over time, and most recently it edged up quite significantly, um, as it captured, I think, about 500,000 subscribers in the UK. So it's really eating Sage's cake in the UK, and even Intuit is kind of on the back foot there. So that's it from me. Uh, I'll hand it over. If you have any questions for me, you can come up and find me in the break.